Good morning everybody and it is Sunday morning. I'm in Bosnia Herzegovina um, and this is vlog two. I'm still at the Grupski, Grupski, Grupski campsite, uh, Camp Grupski. Um, great night's sleep, having a cup of coffee and this is the site from the camp of Anna this morning. Look at that lake. Look at that. It was pretty windy yesterday, um, so I didn't really do much. But uh, today I reckon I'm going to get the paddleboard out and I'm going to go and have a bit of an explore in that lake. Um, Sunday morning, there's a Catholic church there and all the people there parking up for their Sunday morning church service. And there's a guy there digging out worms. That must be the killer bait. So let's get the paddleboard inflated and I'll show you around the lake. Might not have seen my new paddleboard storage. So here it is. A little bit disorganized, but basically the paddleboard now sits under here with the bike on top. So I can get to it really easily and I'm gonna put it over here on the grass and it's as easy as this wheeling the paddleboard and all the bits out there we go right let's get this set up So if you're wondering why I've got the wetsuit or half wetsuit on, it is beautiful. It's about 10 degrees, but that water is going to be ice cold. I don't plan on going in. In fact, I'm going to do everything in my power to not go in, but safety first, people. I'm on. Relax everybody, I'm on. My god, this is so super clear. This is. Let me turn you around so you can see what's going on. See where we're heading. And just. So this people is Rama Lake in Bosnia and Herzegovina, technically North Herzegovina. It's really, it's quite lovely. I'm going to head to that island over there. It's completely silent, beautiful. see what's on that island whether we can actually moor up there or not this is just beautiful look I'm right up here against this Stunning island. 
and the dam is just over there. Should we go have a look at the dam? Is that dangerous? Don't know. Let's do it anyway. Come on. Beautiful, the Rama Lake, twinned with the Lama and Ding Dong Lakes. Look at it. If you look really closely, you can see Betty over there. <laughs> and I'm heading towards these beautiful little houses up there. I was right up there, that early bit of the film. I'm heading towards that dam, and it doesn't look very big, does it? You can hear the goats up in the hills with the bells around their necks. <laughs> this is quite some place. And mind you, the campsite is basic but fantastic. It's 15 euros a day, which is just ridiculously good value. People are friendly. Uh, a couple of local shops and restaurants. Um, it's just a great place to be. And paddle boarding out here. I haven't really thought about fishing yet. I'm just enjoying myself, just being in the moment. And that's what it's about, isn't it? This sort of travel and adventure. And I find, especially paddle boarding for some reason, I mean, it's just being on the water and not having the ability to twist a throttle or do anything. You know, you kind of just go with the flow, both figuratively and literally. And it's really quite a serene and mindful place being on a paddle board i bloody love it the sun went behind the mountain and it suddenly a bit dark, a bit chilly, and this 300 foot of water is a bit more daunting. Oh, bloody. So this lovely people is Rama Dam. Look at it up there. It's quite impressive. I've got to say, now the sun's gone down behind that mountain, it's a bit chilly, but look at this. I came from all the way to the other end of the lake. And like every one of my paddleboard adventures, every single one, about halfway through, I think, this is a lot further than I thought it was. I'm a bit tired now, but I've got to get in the sun because out of the sun, it's bloody freezing. It's about six degrees, but in the sun, it feels lovely and warm. So this is the dam. I kind of wanted to see it. I was up there. Peter showed me, we drove up to there. And if you can see the blue level, they effectively, they choose the water level um, on how much power they want going through the hydroelectric uh, dam system. So um, the water up to the campsite can be, I don't know, like 40 foot higher, almost at the top of the campsite, which is bizarre. And um, Peter says there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just based on, energy needs uh, and what the company wants to supply or how they want to, I'm presuming, price their energy um, <laughs> supply and demand. But fascinating place. I just saw a fish move over there and it's in the sunny bit. So I need to get over there. I'm getting cold. Where's the sunshine? And where's the fish? Sunshine and fish, I don't ask for much, do I? 
I don't think so. This is abandoned now, but Peter says that was a restaurant. That is a pretty cool location. Look at the steps coming down. Have a wander. And if you look, that very far one there, it is where I'm pointing, the furthest one you can see, that's where Peter and I were yesterday to take those photos down on this lake network. Just done a little bit of fishing. And with no success, you'll be astonished to learn. I can't actually remember the last fish I caught. I thought I used to be quite good at fishing. I mean, basically I've just chucked a worm in the lake, but nothing. Anyway, I've done about four or five miles, and it's just the most idyllic if you can hear that faint noise it's the goats with the bells around their necks that's it what a place what a place right new plan as the sun's shining and I'm a bit knackered there's an island there. Just around the corner is the mainland where, or the atoll where Betty is. I'm going to go there and park up. Park up isn't really a nautical term, I don't think. Moor. I'm going to moor my paddleboard there and sit in the sunshine, have a little snack, and maybe do some fishing. That feels like a nice way to spend. Sunday morning. This isn't a bad spot to stop and have a spot of lunch, is it? Technical marine turn I'm parked here. Might even chuck the chuck the line out there. Let's try that. Let's do that. Time to get back and paddle the last bit back. And I think because I've had such a stressful day, I probably need a nap. Ah, there we go. There we go. Feet either side of the doobie. Oh, we're back up. Oh, I've been on dry land for too long. Let's go. Let's head home. Let's head. So as I glide back down into uh, home base where Betty the camper van is, uh, thanks for watching. I just wanted to show you a little bit about um, Rama Lake beautiful it is, uh, how tranquil it is. It really is a, a wonderful spot here.
I haven't done the video edit yet, but I'm pretty sure I put some cheesy music over lots of that. I probably did lots of nice panning shots as well. Hey, out of interest, let me know what sort of videos you want, if at all. If not, I'm just going to keep making the same rubbish I'm making and sod the lot of you. But if there's anything in particular, let me know. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time where I think I'll be yeah, probably still in Bosnia and Herzegovina because I'm going to spend a few more days here because it's very, very pretty.